Okay, in this video, we're going to use the BSA to calculate whether a dosage is safe or not for a child. So for this child, we have a child that's 126 centimeters tall and weighs 23 kilograms. The drug order reads, I don't know the drug name, I can't pronounce it, 1.8 milligrams. And then I wanna know, is this dosage safe for the child? And then why or why not? The recommended dosage, as noted on the package insert, is two milligrams per meter squared. So that's the information I need for my problem. So first thing I have to do is find the BSA. Remember the BSA is in meters squared. Since it's centimeters and kilograms, and I'm gonna use the BSA formula for metrics. And I can't seem to draw. So try that again. Oh, my pen won't change. Okay, here we go. Try this again. So 126 times the 23, and we're going to divide it by 3600 because that's what the uh, metric BSA says. So when I do 126 times 23, divide that answer by 3600, I'm going to get the square root of 0 0.805. I'm just taking it out three decimal places this time. And when I take the square root of that, that gives me 0 0.897. I've got to round it to two decimal places. So 7 makes that 9 a 10, which is going to make that 8 a 9. So 0 0.90 meters squared. So then I'm going to put that, change colors, put this down here where my answer goes. 0 0.90 meters squared. Now, since that's a trailing zero, you can leave it as 0 0.9. But since I said, you know, the BSA has to be rounded to two decimal places, then I can use the trailing zero. So the next thing for this, what is the recommended dosage for this child? So the recommended dosage is two milligrams per meter squared. So I'm wanting milligrams. So I'm gonna use the two milligrams per meter squared and then I'm going to multiply it by my BSA, <laughs> the 0 0.90 meter squared over 1. Because for every meter, every square meter, they get 2 milligrams. So 2 times 0 0.090 gives me 1.8 milligrams. So that's my recommended dosage. And what we need to remember is that our ordered dose, kind of pick different colors here. Well, get my tool to work. My ordered dose has to be less than or equal to my safe dose. Okay, so when I do the recommended dosage, this is considered my safe dose. So my safe dose is 1.8 milligrams. And then I've got to look up here. And my ordered dose, so this is my ordered dose, is 1.8 milligrams. So 1.8 is less than or equal to, so it's equal to 1.8 milligrams. So that makes that a true statement. So is the ordered dose safe? Yes. Why or why not? It's safe because the ordered dose is equal to the safe dose. Okay, so first thing we did was find our BSI. Then we found out what the recommended dosage or the recommended safe dose was for this child based on their MSI. Okay. So if the dosage is safe and we know it's safe, okay, how much will you give? If the dosage is not safe, we're not going to worry about that because we know it's safe. 
So if you remember from the other page, our order was 1.8 milligrams. That's what we need. We don't need to know what our, or what our safe dose is because we just need our order and then we need what we have on hand, one milligram per milliliter. So I'm looking for the number of milliliters, so I want to know how much I'm going to give. My 1.8 milligrams over one, because it's my doctor's orders over one, times my dosage form, which is milliliters, over my dosage strength, which is one milligram. My milligrams cancel, and that leaves me 1.8 milliliters is how much I'm going to give. Okay, let's look at another example. We have a two-year-old child with herpes simplex. He's 35 inches tall and weighs 30 pounds. So let's find his BAS, his BSA before we go any farther. So the BSA is meter squared. And I'm doing the inches. 35 inches times my 30 pounds. This is household, so it's divided by 3131. So when I put this one into the calculator, 3530 divided by 3131, I get the square root of 0 0.3353. When I take the square root of that, I get 0 0.579 round it to two decimal places gives me 0 0.58 meters squared. So my BSA 0 0.58 meters squared. Okay, the next part asks what is my safe dose for this child? Or my recommended dose? So um, the drug reference is 250 milligrams per meter squared every eight hours for children younger than 12 but older than six months. So we have a two-year-old, so it fits that. So again, I'm looking for milligrams on this because I want to know per dose. And it's 250 milligrams per meter squared times my BSA, which is 0 0.58 meter squared over one. So my meter squared cancels. I do 250 times 0 0.58 and I get 145 milligrams. So again, what we're going to look at is our ordered dose less than or equal to our recommended dose. And remember, our recommended dose is our safe dose. So, if I go back up here to my problem, the drug order reads, whatever that medication is, 100 milligrams IV BID, and that's every 12 or 12 hours, twice a day, twice a day. This is every eight hours. I'm sure that's supposed to be three times a day. I made it up, I typed it wrong. So I have 100 milligrams for my ordered dose. And then is it less than or equal to my recommended dose, which is 145 milligrams. So since it's less than, then my ordered dose is safe. And why and why not? It's because, again, the ordered dose is less than the recommended dose. Or the safe dose. Okay. And then if the dosage is safe, well we know it's safe, how much will you give? So I don't need to know about this. So um, the medication is supplied 
in a 500 milligram injection for directions to reconstitute with 10 milliliters sterile water for injection for a concentration of 50 milligrams per milliliter. So this is what I have on hand. And then if you'll remember our order dose from above was 100 milligrams. So how much am I going to give? I'm looking for milliliters. So it's my doctor's orders over one times my uh, dosage form over my concentration, 50 milligrams. So my milligrams is going to cancel. I'm left with 100 divided by 50. I can cancel a zero, so I have 10 divided by 5, which leaves me with 2 milliliters. So I'm going to administer 2 milliliters of this medication. Okay, we have one more example to get through. This time I have an order for whatever that medication is. 22 milligrams, so this is my order, and a child has a BSA of 0.44 meters squared, so I don't have to calculate the BSA this time because they gave it to me. So maybe you'd already figured what the BSA was and charted it or someone else had. So the recommended daily dose for this child, and this is where it makes this one a little bit different, my recommended daily dose is 150 milligrams per meter squared per day, okay? So 150 milligrams per meter squared per day. So I've got to remember, got to recognize, find, calculate the daily dosage. So again, I'm looking for milligrams this time per day. I'm going to start with my recommended 150 milligrams per meter squared per day times my BSA, which is 0 0.44 meters squared over 1. So my meter squared is going to cancel. I have 150 times 0 0.44, so I have 66 milligrams per day. Okay. Now the doctors ordered this. every eight hours. So to get for a single dose or to find how many doses in a day, there's 24 hours in a day. I'm going to divide it by eight hours and that gives me three doses because I'm giving it every eight hours. All right, so to find the recommended daily, or the recommended dose rather, single dose for this child. So this time I'm wanting milligram per dose. I'm going to take my 66 milligrams per day, and then in one day I'm giving three doses for this over here. So my days cancel. 66 divided by 3 is 22 milligrams per dose. So is this dosage safe? Okay, so again, my ordered dose, which was 22 milligrams from up here, has to be less than or equal to my recommended dose, which is 22 milligrams from here. So this is true. So then is my ordered dose safe? Yes. Why? Because the ordered dose equals the safe dose. Our recommended dose. Okay, so that's it for calculating the safe 